हे गुरु परंपरा श्रुति स्मृति पुराणा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत् पाद शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्र भाष्यक वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने भूमवत्याय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सहनावत सहनौ घुन सह वीरकवाह तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तुमा विदुषा वह ओं शांच शांच शांति धातुर्ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यातमुच्य प्रकृति सुबंताधातुब्रह्मात्मे नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडमो व्यक्त संभव दंडस्यातस्तोका सप्तद्वीपा चेदिनी लास्ट पाठ वी आर लुकिंग एट दी नाइनटीन वर्स यू फिनिश दी वर्स यू आर टू डू दी अन्वया एंड लुक एट दी भाष्य सो यो मेव असमूढ़ जानाति पुरुषोत्तम स सर्वेद भजति मां सर्वभाव भारत सो य जानाति सो दट इज द बेसिक सेंटेंस देर यहां मीन यथा प्रकार एज डिस्क्राइब जानाति हाउ असमूढ़ यूढ़ सन् असमूढ़ सन् मां जानाति वॉट कैंड ऑफ मी पुरुषोत्तम मां जानाति सर्व वित् मां सर्व भावेन भजति यू कैन ऐड हे भारत समवेर सो यू कैन ऐड इट इन दी बिगिनिंग हे भारत सर्वभाव भजति सो दैट कैंड ऑफ अ विवेकी हू सीज मी एज पुरुषोत्तम ही बिकम सर्व विथ एंड यस्टडे यस्टडे लास्ट पाठ वी सॉ नोइंग पुरुषोत्तम कृष्ण के नॉट मेक अ पर्सन सर्व विथ अनलेस वन नोज पुरुषोत्तम इज इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ एवरीथिंग including one's own self thereby sarva vit so ekena karanena sarvam janati therefore sarva vit and thereby sa sarva vit mam sarva bhavena bhajati sees ishwara everywhere ishwara tattva everywhere brahma tattva everywhere which is not different from atma therefore brahmatma he sees everywhere That is Sarvatma Bhava called as Sarva Bhavi na Bhajati. So partakes of Sarvatma Bhava. That is the idea. That is Moksha. Yaha Maam. Who is that? Me, Ishwaram. Maam Ishwaram. Ishwara in Vitiya. It will become Ishwaram. Ishwaram Janati. Yathokta Visheshanam is Evam. In this manner, Yathokte na Prakare na. So Yathokta Visheshanam is Ishwaram. Ishara in the manner described, and how in this manner? What is that manner? Yathokte na prakare na the way it has been described in this chapter as well as all the earlier chapters. Thereby asamuda ha, no longer mohita, no longer deluded. Therefore, asamuda means what? Samoha varjita ha does not get influenced by the Maya vikshepa. अज्ञानाज आवरणा गोइंग नोइंग वन सेल्फ एज ईश्वरा देर बाय समोह वर्जिता विक्षेपा डज नॉट इन्फ्लुएंस एनी मोर बिकॉज ऑल विक्षेपा इज नथिंग बट प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ द सेम ब्रह्मात्मा ईश्वरा देर फोर समोह वर्जिता माम जानाती अयम 
अहम अस्मि इति दैट इज हाउ माम अयम अयम दिस ईश्वरा आई एम इति पुरुषोत्तम सह इति पुरुषोत्तम जानाति हाउ पुरुषोत्तम दिस पुरुषोत्तम इज मी इति जानाति सह दैट पर्सन ज्ञानी इज कॉल्ड एज सर्ववित सर्वम वेत्ति इति सर्ववित उपपद तत्पुरुष एंड सर्वात्मना सर्वम वेत्ति नॉट सर्वम वेत्ति सर्वम वेत्ति कथम वेत्ति सर्वात्मना वेत्ति नोज एवरीथिंग एज व्हाट सर्वम सर्वम इज सर्वात्मना एज वन सेल्फ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एवरीथिंग दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सर्ववित फाइनली सर्वज्ञ आल्सो सर्वज्ञ एंड सर्ववित आर इंटरचेंजेबल अनलेस दे आर यूज्ड इन द सेम सेंटेंस इन द मूल सो व्हेन सर्वज्ञ एंड सर्ववित बोथ आर यूज्ड देन दे आर डिफरेंशिएटेड अदरवाइज दे हैव द सेम मीनिंग सो व्हेन दे आर यूज्ड इन द सेम सेंटेंस लाइक इन उपनिषद मंत्र then sarvajna is generally knowing something and sarvavit is specifically knowing something so that is a differentiation created sarvabhutastam bhajati so sarvabhavena bhajati is glossed over as which is coming later in the bhashya sarvabhavena is sarvabhutastam bhajati maam sees me as present in everyone as what ahantaya सर्वात्मतया दैट इज सर्वात्मतया अहंतया इन ईच एंड एवरी बीइंग अहम भाव इज रियली द सेंशिएंट ईश्वर देयर इज नथिंग एल्स व्हिच इज सेंशिएंट सर्वात्मतया हे भारत हु वांट्स टू टेक द नेक्स्ट वन इट्स द लास्ट वर्स इन दिस चैप्टर आई कैन ट्राई या ओके द लास्ट वन संगति भाषा मोक्ष what stated bhagavat tattva jnana having taught bhagavat tattva jnana as moksha phala does anyone want to try what this samasa would be bhagavat tattva jnana and moksha phala this is a little tricky therefore if someone wants to try see moksha phala will not make sense if you interpret the samasa wrongly so asmin adhyaye bhagavat tattva jnana is moksha phala How can bhagwa bhagwa tattva jnana be moksha phala? Is jnana itself moksha phala? It cannot be shasti. Moksha se phala it cannot be. So what kind of a samasa is it? Anyone? Moksha me eva phala. Moksha me eva phala means karma dharya. Karma dharya is also tatpurusha. If you say moksha me eva phala, that is equal to jnana. Then what is bhagwa tattva jnana? Bhagwa taha tattva jnana. तत्वस्य ज्ञानम भगवतः तत्वस्य ज्ञानम भगवत तत्व ज्ञान सो द ज्ञान ऑफ द रियलिटी तत्व ऑफ भगवान इज कॉल्ड एज भगवत तत्व ज्ञान इफ यू से मोक्षमेव फलम वो मोक्षमेव फलम देन ज्ञान इज मोक्ष एंड दैट इज फला बट ज्ञान इज नॉट मोक्ष एंड दैट इज फला भगवत तत्व ज्ञान इज इट इज पॉसिबल बट देन it is bahuri bahuri fits fits much better bhagavat tattva jnana is that which has moksha as phala moksha ha phalam yasya bhagavat tattva jnanasya tad bhagavat tattva jnanam moksha phalam because jnana jnana is not moksha phala although we do say jnana is moksha phala the chaitanya that chaitanya is said to be moksha but then मोक्ष एव फलम इफ यू से मोक्ष एव फलम यस्य ज्ञानस्य ज्ञानस्य फलम किम ज्ञानस्य फलम मोक्ष देयरफॉर ज्ञान एंड मोक्ष फल आर इन समानाधिकरण बट ज्ञान एंड फल आर नॉट इन समानाधिकरण दैट इज बहुरी 
jnana is not in samanadikranam with phalam it is in samanadikranam with moksha phalam so it's the entire compound means jnana but phala does not mean jnana jnana does not have the meaning of phala jnana cannot be phala jnana is a phala of what if jnana is a phala then jnana is a phala of shravan so moksha phalam is bahuri bhagavatah yat tattvam tasya tattvasya yajnanam tasya phalam kim ityukte moksha eva phalam therefore moksha phalam yasya jnanasya what kind of jnana bhagavat tattva jnana therefore bahuri fits in better so what is being said in this chapter bhagavat tattva jnana which has so you have to see as its phala having stated that atha idanim thereafter now what is bhagwan doing tat stauti tat jnanam stauti yasya jnanasya moksha moksha phalam bhavati tat jnanam stauti so what is the verse iti gukhyatamam shastram idamuktam maya nagha etat budva buddhiman syat kritakrityascha bharata so the parichheda is iti guhyatamam shastram idam uktam maya anagha etat budva buddhiman syat kritakritya cha bharata kritya cha bharata bharata cases मध्यम पुरुष सारी सारी प्रथम प्रथम पुरुष करेक्ट <laughs> <clears throat> what is the verb there you start with the verb or verb equivalent do you see a verb equivalent there uktam 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 is the verb, verb equivalent has been stated yeah what has been stated so that is gukhya idam gukhya tamam shastram so this will become prathama otherwise will you get maya you will not get no. maya maya is not get maya tritiya maya is tritiya maya is tritiya it has been stated by me so why yeah. by me? it's kar- so the uktam here is karmani so karmani. therefore here you see maya is kartari tritiya it has been stated by me what has been stated by me this idam gukhyatam mam shastram idam gukhyatam mam shastram the all are prathama for all has to be first case prathama ya prathama be careful with neuters okay neuter you have to be very careful yeah yeah neuter is the word hmm okay. anagha is also uh, sambodhana etat of course is uh, anvaya huh? etat is what avyaya how at etat are all avyas what sa what about sa to te sa te ta ha oh, sorry sorry it is pronoun one of the pronouns what's wrong with me today <laughs> <laughs> start with the verb that's why it's a verb verb equivalent do not go interpreting cases and uh, mark as avya no, no, i don't do it put the start start with the verb syat you know but syat is syat, the verb yeah syat is going to come late you know so you start with the sentence and see what is the verb verb equivalent you begin with the, the first word and then you go and search for the verb or verb equivalent so you land on uktam then you see what else budhva what is budhva
अर्जुन Iti is what whatever has gone by. Iti guihat or we can say iti we can add the anvaya. Shastram guihatamam idam uktam. So this shastra we can say idam this idam shastram guihatamam shastram uktam or we can say shastram guihatamam iti. Let me just see what else is possible. We we'll look at the bhasha and uh, see what other possibilities is there. Since iti is there. we have to add it either it can be added in the uh, are you able to see the screen is it flickering yes no, yes i know it it's back okay there's some some reason it's flickering okay okay so uh, yeah he anaga he bharata then we'll see it where to add idam shastram guhyatamam iti so we can do it that way idam shastram this shastra idam shastram guhya tamam iti maya uktam then etat budhva shastram budhva buddhiman krutakrityascha syat बुद्धि मान कृता कृत्यश्च स्यात सो नथिंग मच देयर सो इदम शास्त्र गुह्यतो इति इति मया उक्तम आई हैव स्टेटेड दैट इट इज अ इट इज द डीपेस्ट उत्तमम तम प्रत्यय इज यू सो इट इज गुह्यतमम मीनिंग इट इज द द डीपेस्ट सीक्रेट और द बेस्ट केप्ट केप्ट सीक्रेट एज ऑल ऑल्दो इट इज you know well known these days it is well known it is openly known but still not clearly known so even if it's an they may say open secret everyone knows but in the open secret everyone knows the way it is but here although it is an open secret nobody understands the meaning because on face value it appears something else it is very difficult to understand the to get to the doubtless knowledge and having understood buddhiman syat we'll see what buddhiman means further in the bhashya so iti etat guhyatamam means gopyatamam most secretive atyanta rahasyam ityetat that is the meaning atyanta rahasyam it is deepest secret kim tat what is that shastram shastra shastra here is this aikya jnana yadyapi 
Gitaakyam samastam shastra muchyate. Although the entire Gita shastra, what is Gitaakyam is? Gita iti akhyayasya. Shastrasya. Tat shastram Gita shastram. Uh, Gitaakyam. So Gita akhya shastra. That shastra yadyapi Gita akhyam samastam. The entire thing is called as shastra. Entire Gita is called as shastra. Uchyate ittathapi. Ayam eva adhyaya iha shastram iti uchyate. Sutyartham prakaranat. But here, looking at the context, Bhagavan Bhashikara says, when he says shastra muktam, then it is specifically this chapter, although entire Gita is a shastra, still this chapter is called a shastra by Bhagavan to praise this chapter. That's why many people chant this 15 chapter. Atyanta rasyam. So, it is. Stutyartam prakarana. In the context, there is a stuti because there is a sum up done here and then kind of a closure to the topic which has been ongoing across all the chapters. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sarvohi Gita Shastra Arthaha Asmin Adhyaya Samasena Uktaha. Because briefly everything has been summed up. Samasena, briefly. In this chapter, it has been summed up. What is that? Gita Shastra Artha. The entire idea of the Gita Shastra. The entire, all the chapters have been summed up in this chapter. Therefore, this chapter can be called as Shastra to praise this chapter. Na kevalam Gita Shastra Artha eva kintu sarvascha veda artha ya parisamaptaha. Because Gita Shastra itself is, is the essence of Upanishads. Upanishads are the essence of Vedas. Therefore, Vedartha iha parisamaptaha. Entire Veda Artha is there in the Vedanta Upanishads. Upanishad Artha is in Gita Shastra. And Gita Shastra Artha is there in this chapter. Therefore, this 15th chapter iha in this 15th chapter Vedartha parisamaptaha. Sarvascha Vedartha. The entire essence of Vedas is in this 15th chapter, it is concluded here or yeah, culminated. Parisamaptaha. Yastam Veda Saveda Vitu Veda Isha Sarvai Rahami Vavidhyaha Iti Chauktam. So, in the fifth and the uh, first and the 15th verses of this chapter, what has been said? Yastam Veda Saveda Vitu. One who knows that Vruksha, Samsara Vruksha, he is a Veda Vit. Because he knows Samsara Vruksha, how? Along with its root. So Ashwatha Samsara Ruksha, along with its root, he knows, and root is what? Is Karana. And Karana Jnana Karya Jnanam Bhavati. Therefore, knowing Karana, one knows Karya as non separate from Karana, thereby Aikya is known, and thereby Vedavit. Veda Ishya Sarvair Aham Eva Vedyaha. Through all the Vedas, who has to be known? Who is to be known? Aham Eva. Aham, starting with the Guru Krishna, Bhagavan Krishna. And then Aham landing with Arjuna, who is a Shishya, he knows. Aham, I should be known. When Bhagavan says I, it is that Aham which is Atma. As aham aham in me as well. Therefore, aham eva vedya, this atma, which Bhagavan says as aham, should be known, placing myself in his, his shoes. Then, idam uktam kathitam maya he anagha is equal to apapa. So, anagha is without papa raita ityartha. So, this has been taught. Kathitam maya narrated means taught. Samya guktam. Etat Shastram Yathadarshitartham Buddha having known this Etat is what? Shastram. Having known this Shastra, which is that 15th chapter, which is the sum total of entire Veda. How Yathadarshitartham as Shastram, how Yathadarshita Artham, that which has the meaning as taught. Darshita is as taught. 
then what will happen that person becomes buddhiman buddhiman syat syat is bhavet in of us you give a meaning with bhudhatu bhu sattayam and what is us asabhuvi so us is explained with bhudhatu who is sattarthe so one would be would become buddhiman na anyatha so what does it mean buddhiman syat means what shakyarthe ling Vidhiling has been a shakyarthe. It is possible only in this manner. Na anyatha. So that is the meaning of sh uh, ling here. Shakyarthe ling. Very nicely, you know. Na anyatha. Otherwise, one would be means okay. One would be, but possibility. If you see only possibility, then first you look at the possibility shakyarthe ling, and then only possibility. So na anyatha. No other manner. one is in no other way no other path is going to lead to one becoming buddhiman that is the culmination of buddhi also sa kashta sa paragati hi you cannot go beyond this and there is no other way that you can reach here thereby anna anyatha krutakrityascha bharata so na, anyatha buddhiman na bhavet krutakrityascha na bhavet What is krutha krutya? You've seen many times here. Krutam krutyam. So krutam means done. What is done? Krutyam. What is krutyam? Krutyam is kartavyam. So whatever has to be done, kartavyam yat karma tat sarvam krutam ye na sa krutha krutya. Whatever has to be done has been done. What has to be done? Being born as a human being, there is only one thing to be done. पुरुषार्थ सिद्धि पुरुषार्थ इज ओनली वन मोक्ष एवरी अदर पुरुषार्थ इज फॉर दैट पर्पस अलोन देर फोर फॉर अ ह्यूमन बीइंग देर इज ओनली वन पुरुषार्थ मोक्ष एंड दैट इज दैट एवरी धर्मा शुड बी फॉलोड बट फॉर व्हाट पर्पस फॉर मोक्ष इफ एवरीथिंग इज डन एंड वन मिसेस मोक्ष देन व्हाट कैंड ऑफ अ ह्यूमन लाइफ वुड इट बी देर फोर कृतकृत्य मीन्स यत्यत कर्तव्यम तत्सर्वं कृतम् येन सह कृतकृत्यः विशिष्ट जन्म प्रसूतेन ब्राह्मणेन यत् कर्तव्यम एंड भगवान भाष्यकार वेरी ब्यूटीफुली एक्सप्लेन्स व्हाट इज कर्तव्यम रियली व्हाट शुड बी डन सो पर्सन इज बोर्न इनटू पर्टिकुलर वर्ण व्हाय बेस्ड ऑन व्हाट वन वांट्स सो इट इज सेड दैट ब्राह्मण हैज क्लेम्ड अ ब्राह्मण वर्ण One a jiva has claimed a brahmana varna has got an opportunity to be born in a brahmana family to become a brahmana. How Brahma jana ti the brahmana. So he is interested in moksha. He was he has pursued therefore he is born in a brahmana varna. Now it does not mean that others do not get moksha. What is said here? Vishistha janma prasute na brahmani na. By a brahmana, yat kartavyam. Brahmane na yat kartavyam. What should be done by a brahmana? Brahmana should live up to the name. Should not live up to the varna of a brahmana by gaining moksha. So brahmana varna brahmana, or also called a jati brahmana. Why jati? Janma. Janma is jati. Janma prasute na. Vishistha janma prasute na. There is a specific. वैशिष्ट इन अ ब्राह्मण जन्म बिकॉज सत्व प्रधान दैट कैंड ऑफ अ ब्राह्मण शुड होल्ड ऑन टू दैट ब्राह्मण बाय टेकिंग इट टू कलमिनेशन बाय बिकमिंग व्हाट कैंड ऑफ ब्राह्मण ब्रह्म जाना अतिथि ब्राह्मण नाउ दैट इज कर्तव्य बाय ब्राह्मण ब्राह्मण न यत्कर्तव्य तत्सर्व भगवत विजिते कृतम भवेत इफ एनी वन हू बिलोंग्स टू सी नीदर दि गीताचार्य इज अ ब्राह्मण वर्ण ब्राह्मण नॉर दि शिष्य इज अ वर्ण ब्राह्मण वाय वुड भगवान भाष्यकर टॉक अबाउट दिस ही इज सेइंग दैट व्हाट एवर कैन बी अटेंड बाय अ ब्राह्मण जन्म कैन बी अटेंड बाय एनी अदर इन एनी अदर जन्म आल्सो हाउ भगवत तत्व विदिते सती इफ वन नोज दि भगवत तत्व इफ वन हैज दि ऐक्य ज्ञान it doesn't matter which which varna one is born in then what will happen sarvam tat sarvam what is that tat sarvam whatever is 
attained by a brahmana which has to be attained by a brahmana that is attained by others also by knowing the bhagavat tattva bhagavat tattve vidite sati yat yat brahmane na kartavyam tat sarvam kritam bhavet it will be as good as whatever a brahmana has done this person has also done because he is krita kritya he has nothing else to do he has gained that for which anyone takes a brahmana janma this person also gets it without the brahmana janma so that is the idea here jnani na moksha ityartha na cha anyatha kartavyam parisammapyate kasya chit ityabhiprayah na cha anyatha in no other man no other way kartavyam parisammapyate there is no end to kartavyam there will always be a duty to be done whenever wherever you are there is something to be done in any in any varna at any point of time in any ashram beta brahmachari beta grahastha sanyasi also will have some kartavyatvam so anyatha कर्तव्यम न परिसमाप्यते कस्यचित इत्यभिप्राय फॉर एनी वन देर विल ऑलवेज बी समथिंग टू बी डन अनलेस वन गेट्स ज्ञान आफ्टर ज्ञान देर इज नो कर्तव्यत्व सर्व कर्माखिल पार्थ ज्ञाने परिसमाप्यते उक्त इन दी फोर्थ चैप्टर लॉन्ग लॉन्ग बैक और आचार्य जी यूज टू से नो एज अ जोक यूज टू से लॉन्ग लॉन्ग बैक वेन राम वॉज दी Raja of Ayodhya. That time we had studied. He would say so. Fourth chapter, thirty-third verse. We had seen this. Sarvam karma khilam partha jnane parisma pyate. Everything culminates in jnana. O partha, son of Pratha, akhilam karma. Karma khilam is akhilam karma. Every entire by every every in the sense entire karma, all karmas, each and every karma. culminates culminates in sense is attained whatever is has to be attained this akhila karma is attained in jnana iti cha uktam etad hi janma samagram brahmanasya visheshatah why did he bring that up because brahmanasya visheshatah adhikara because he is he is he is pride so much and he says that this janma i couldn't complete let me get another janma for this so etad hi janma samagram ब्राह्मण से विशेषतः प्राप्य एतत् कृतकृत्यो हि द्विजो भवति नान्यथा सो दिस इज मनु स्मृति कोटेशन एतद् हि जन्म सामग्रम ब्राह्मणस्य विशेषता प्राप्य एतत् कृतकृत्यो हि द्विजो भवति नान्यथा हैविंग अटेंड दिस वन बिकम्स कृतकृत्यः नॉट एनी अदर वे सो दैट इज मेंशनड हियर इति च मानवम वचनम मानव मीन मनोज वचन मनो हो इदम इज मानव परमार्थ तत्व मत श्रुतवान असी यू हैव हर्ड इट फ्रॉम मी सेज भगवान कृष्ण गीताचार्य टू अर्जुन सिंस दिस परमार्थ तत्व यू हैव हर्ड फ्रॉम मी अतः कृतार्थ तम भारत देर फोर आई मीन हु who better than bhagwan himself to teach therefore you are krithartha this is the idea that bhagwan wants to state in this 20th verse iti shrimat paramahamsa parivrajaka acharyasya shri govinda bhagavat puja pada shishyasya shrimat shankara bhagavata krutau shrimat bhagavad gita bhashye panchadashodhyaya so 15th chapter ends here with the bhashya also as created by shankara bhagavat pada who is a shishya of shri govind bhagavat puja pada who was a parivrajak acharya who was an acharya and a parivrajak sanyasi and a paramahamsa sanyasi of course shri yukta therefore shrimat that is the 15 chapter moving on to the 16 chapter let's continue shodashodhyaya daivasura sampad vibhaga yogah 
so this is a chapter with what yoga yoga is topic with which topic topic which is vibhaga has a vibhaga division what kind of division daiva asura sampat sampat generally sampat is a sri linga so sampat is sampatti it is wealth really literally wealth what is the wealth for a sadhaka or for anyone wealth is basically what you own and what is to be really own what are you going to be judged by i mean these days literally wealth but then what is the real wealth what qualities one inculcates that is the wealth so whether it is daivas sampat or asura sampat that is the wealth and the division is made as daiva and asura asura sampat in this chapter daivi asuri rakshasi iti praninam prakrutayah navame adhyaye suchitah in the ninth chapter these had come up so we will be closed now there are some hints given some you know brief description given of daivi sam sampat what is daivi sampat what is asuri sampat what is rakshasi sampat iti praninam prakrutayah these are prakrutis of pranis so swavastu pravartate elsewhere he had mentioned bhagwan krishna had mentioned swavastu pravartate whatever you do your swabhava will continue to be unless you put an effort which is going to overpower that swabhava pravartate eva but still you do have free will to work against it how do you work against it so you have to change your thinking pattern just like a river flows downhill it starts carving the mountain is quite hard but still a thin tree stream first so it's a rain rain water it's rain water or snow melting there will be a thin stream first then it will start cutting it cutting the mountain then it will cut it wider and deeper and becomes a thick river flow similarly when the river is flowing it makes its own path it cuts through across it may take an era but still it cuts through and makes its own path similarly we have a pattern of thinking flows like water but with effort you can change the pattern of thinking then it creates a new it creates new you know cars new channels to flow from flow down so they just like water flows down there will be a new channel for the thoughts to flow all this takes effort it may take an era for us as well but still it is doable so daivi asuri rakshasi these are the sampattis which one if one knows then one can avoid the uh, asuri and rakshasi sampat and to start building up create new channels to earn daivi sampat iti praninam prakruteha navame adhyaye suchita in the ninth chapter they were just you know indicated tasam vistarena pradarshanaya to explain them and present them in detail abhayam sattva samshuddhi ityadi adhyaya arabhyate so starting with these words abhayam sattva samshuddhi abhayam is fearlessness sattva samshuddhi sattva is antakkarana because it's sattva karya it is called as sattva samshuddhi is purification so purification of mind ityadi adhyaya arabhyate beginning with these words in the shloka this 16 chapter begins tatra samsara mokshaya daivi prakruti hi nibandhanaya asuri rakshasi cha iti daivyaha adanaya pradarshanam kriyate idarayoho parivarjanaya cha so tatra in this chapter in you know in in what is going to begin with this abhayam sattva samshuri in those verses samsara mokshaya for tadarte chaturthi for the for freedom from samsara samsara mokshaya 
what is needed daivi prakruti is needed therefore daivi prakruti is for moksha from samsara and nibandhanaya for bondage what is there asuri and rakshasi cha rakshasi and asuri prakruti binds whereas daivi prakruti leads to samsara moksha iti daivyaha aadanaya pradarshanam kriyate so why is daivi prakruti being talked about daivyaha prakruti prakrutehe aadanaya for accepting and following the daivi prakruti what which leads to daivi sampat for that the pradarshanam is being done presentation is being given of these values itarayoho itarayoho means of the asuri and rakshasi sampat prakruti itarayo parivarjanaya cha and for giving up the other other two completely one has to know which is which to give up or to take up therefore pradarshanam kriyate so who wants to take this I get a sore throat, so I also don't want to chant a lot. Keep on talking. I can I can chant again and try. <coughs> Anyone else? Yeah. Someone else wants to take it. Otherwise, you can take it if someone else is interested. So yeah, we can pass it on. So Sri, can I start? Yeah, we'll do. So nobody. No Sri Bhagavan Vacha Abhayam Sattva Sam Shuddhi. ज्ञान योग Unveiled all will not be complicated. It is just listing. Yeah, yeah let's just listing correct. So abhayam. Abhayam. Sattva samshuddhi. Yeah, abhayam. Sattva samshuddhi. Then jnana yoga vyavasthiti. So I'll take a break in this chapter. Uh, you can read the bhashya also. So people will get practice of reading. We have not done that. In this chapter we can do it. Nothing complicated. <coughs> yeah. Dhanam, Dhamaha, Cha, Yadnyaha, Dhanam, Dhamaha, Yadnyaha, Cha, Swadhyaya, Tapaha, Arjavam. Tapaha, Arjavam. All are actually uh, Prathama. Yes, yeah. Nothing else is there. Yeah, so these are the listing, this listing of daivi sampat initially these daivi are listed as daivi sampat so as i said you know three verses later he is going to say these are all daivi sampat daivi prakruti what is this yeah. abhayam so we'll not look at the uh, mula okay. we'll look at the bhashya itself because uh, the meanings are explained instead of looking looking at it twice we'll look at the meaning in the bhashya itself somebody else can read they want somebody wants to read i mean no explanation just reading i want to give my total little the rest <coughs> I can read. Yes, Amma. Abhayam, Abhiruta. Yeah, so Sattva Abhayam is Abhiruta. Abhiruta. Fearless. Sattvam Shuddhi, Sattvam Sattva Sam Shuddhi, Sattvasya Anta Karanasya Samvyavahareshu. Sam Shuddhi, Sam Shuddhi, Samvyavahareshu. <coughs> So sattva samshuddhi, sattvasya meaning antakkaranasya samshuddhi. So sattvasya samshuddhi means antakkaranasya samshuddhi, samyakshuddhi. Purification of antakkarana is called as sattva shuddhi. Okay. And what is samshuddhi? That is explained. Okay. Antakkaranasya samyavahareshu paravanchana maya nrita. Paravanchana, not maya. Paravanchana, read again. Paravanchanam. No, not Paravanchanam. Do you have Paravanchanam in the part of yeah, reading? Like, uh, no, in my book, I am reading it here. Yeah. Is it Paravanchanam or Paravanchana Maya 
There is no akara there? No, there is no akara in my book. Yeah. Okay, we'll do. Yeah, read it. Let's look at it. Okay. Paravanchana Maya and Maya Nrita Dipari Varjanam Shuddha Bhavena Yavahara Ityatha. Ahmad, please don't break it anywhere. I'll break it. See, Paravanchana. If there is Maya, that is okay. We'll take it with Parivarjana. Otherwise, Amaya. Okay. Both are okay. Athas are okay. Paravanchana Maya Anruta. Not uh, Nruta. Anruta. Maya Anruta. Not okay. the Parivarjanam. Anruta the Parivarjanam. So you okay. split it right. Otherwise, it will go for a toss. So, okay. Paravanchana. Then if a, a is there, then Amaya. Amaya, if you take, you don't say Amaya Parivarjanam. Otherwise, if it is there is no A, then you'll say Maya Anrutadi Parivarjanam. So Maya Parivarjanam and Anrutadi Parivarjanam. Okay. If okay. it is Amaya, then you split Amaya as separate. And then Anrutadi Parivarjanam will be one Samasa there. Okay. Okay. Shuddha Sattva Bhavena Vyavahara Ityartha. So, what is the meaning of this entire Saushuddhi? Saushuddhi, the final meaning is Shuddha Sattva Bhavena Vyavahara. Vyavahara with a Shuddha Antakkarana Bhava. One should not have any Ashuddhi in Antakkarana. And that's how it should be in Vyavahara also. It's not that oh, I don't have anything, but you know, I express it any another way. Any other way. And that is explained here as what? Samyavahareshu. In all the Vyavaharas, Samyak Vyavaharas, in all the right in, you know, interactions. Paravanchana. And we'll say Amaya as also Maya Parivarjanam. Paravanchana is what? Deceiving. So Paravanchana and then. Uh, Amaya. Ma Amaya is dishonesty. Ma Maya is dishonesty. So Amaya is bereft of that kind of a dishonesty. Or we can say not Amaya as Maya itself, but Maya Parivarjan. Maya will go with Parivarjan then. So what does that mean? It will mean giving up dishonesty. And Anruta, Anruta, Ruta is what? Ruta is fact or truth also, Satya also elsewhere. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, truthfulness rather or lack of falsity. That's what Anrutadi Parivarjanam will mean. <clears throat> so, in all Vyavaharas, all Vyavaras, so we have to understand this all Vyavaras, not, you know, being picky as to, okay, in this Vyavara it is okay because that's what happens, you know. Uh, Marketing, it's okay. So you see, okay, my marketing can't really, you know, tell my company makes this kind of product. You have to say that these are really great products. And then once you sell off, then you vanish. That's not how it is. So some of you are, it's difficult, you know, it's difficult to, uh, in, in today's day, they say that it's difficult to follow all these. So that's why that, that means that you're in a wrong job. That's what it means. Nothing else. Either you are in a wrong job or you are looking for, you know, considering that it's okay, I can still follow dharma. Both will not go together. So, samvyavahar issue, paravanchana, paravanchana maya andutari parivarjanam. One has to give up cheating, deceiving or dishonesty. Cheating is deceiving. So, we will say cheating, dishonesty and lying so that one has to give up so i think paravanchana paravanchana so amaya does not work well right so paravanchana if we if we, then paravanchana should go with parivarjanam so paravanchana itself is dishonest so amaya obviously will not work there paravanchana maya and anrutadi parivarjanam adi padane you can fill in everything that one has to give up which will come up later Okay. So Jnana Yoga, so does anyone want to read further? Sorry. 
should i continue yeah you can continue jnana yoga vyavasthiti jnanam shastratah acharya tat acharya tatcha atmadip atmadip padarthanam avagamaha avagamaha Okay, see, this is this is the reason I want you to read because you know where you are lacking. I have suggested earlier also Gita, anything, anything actually Gita preferable. You read Bhashya every day, five minutes, ten minutes, one paragraph doesn't take much. One paragraph if you read every day, it will, Sanskrita will also set in. It is not only for Vedanta for Sanskrita also. The fluency, you know where to pause. All this matters a lot. Okay, so. Jnana Yoga Vyavasthiti. In this, what is this Jnana Yoga Vyavasthiti? That is a Mula of Shabda. Jnana Yoga Vyavasthiti. There we have in compound Jnana is one word, Yoga is another, Vyavasthiti is a third word. So, what are these words? Jnana is Shastrata. So, first word is explained. Jnana is what? Shastrata Acharyata Acharyata Cha. So, Acharyata Shastrata Acharyata Cha. Panchami, Panchami Arthi Tasi. So Shastrata from Shastra and from Acharya. Jnana comes from Shastra and from Acharya. What is that Jnana? Jnana is Atmadi Padarthanam Avagamaha. Avagama is understanding. Understanding of what? Understanding of Padarthas. Which Padarthas? Atma Ityadi. Atma is a Shabda, Pada. But what is the padartha? Is it reflexive? Is it does it mean something else? What does atma mean? So that is padartha. So it has to be understood. Adi padina brahma ityadi. All all the other words which are to be studied. So all these the understanding of all these words with their meanings. Padartha is meaning from the shastra and acharya. That is jnana. Then what is yoga? Yoga is avagatanam indriyad yupasamharena ekagrataya swatma samvedyata padanam, padanam yoga. Ekagrataya swatma samvedyata padanam. Apadanam. Of what? Swatma samvedyata. Attaining this samvedyata. Of sat, Swatma, that is yoga. How? Ekagrataya, with a single pointedness. So, yoga, in Yoga Shastra also, this is the definition. There is single pointedness on something, that is dhyana. First, you have dharana. So, dharana is where you start bringing thoughts together and focus it on one object. So, that is single pointedness, ekagrataya. Then it culminates into dhyana and then samadhi. So dharana dhyana samadhi. Samadhi is yoga. Yoga is chitta vritti nirodha. So avagatanam padarthanam of those atmadi padarthas which have been understood as taught in the shastra and in by acharya as it is in the shastra as in the sampradaya indriyadi upasamharena what has to precede before ekagra before ekagra Indriyadi Upasamhara has to be there. One has to, you know, withdraw from, withdraw from Indriyas. So, Shamadama Ityadi in Vedanta, in Yoga, they will call it as Yama Niyama. So, Yama Niyama are the first two Angas. <coughs> then you will have the other Angas following Asana Pranayama. Then Pratyahara is needed. Without Pratyahara, which is the culmination of Indriyadi Upasamhara, which will bridge the gap between Bhairanga Sadhana and Antaranga Sadhana. Then Ekagra is possible, then Dharana Dhyana Samadhi. Tayoho Jnana Yoga Yoho Vyavasthiti. Vyavasthiti is what here? See, Jnana Yoga Vyavasthiti is Tayoho Vyavasthiti. Vyavasthiti of Jnana and Yoga. Jnana and Yoga have been explained separately. Now, their Vyavasthiti. What is Vyavasthiti? Vyavasthanam. Vyavasthanam is what? Tannishtata. Being committed to Jnana and Yoga. 
that is jnana yoga vyavasthiti that vyavasthiti is strilinga strilingi shabda esha pradhana daivi satvaki satviki sampat so that prakriti which was mentioned earlier that is sampat it is what is sampat here satviki sampat daivi means satviki which is going to lead to samsara moksha esha pradhana daivi this is this is the primary daivi sampat what is the primary daivi sampat jnana yoga vyavasthiti because finally this will break make or break samsara moksha yatra yesham adikrutanam ya prakriti hi sambhavati satviki sa uchyate why so satviki this is pradhana satviki this daivi sampat yatra yesham adikrutanam ya prakriti sambhavati wherever for whosoever you know for who all who are adhikaris whatever is their pratik prakriti of the adhikaris that is satviki so that is satviki so whichever whichever as a, you know as applicable for whoever is qualified what will be their disposition prakriti that is satvik that has to be satvik meaning this adhikara has a lot of background who becomes qualified so there will be you know shamadamadi sampanna meaning viveka vairagya shamadi satka and mumukshutvam this is what makes an adhikari so for such adhikaris whatever is their prakriti that is called as satviki danam yatha shakti hi so danam damah yajnah swadhyayah tapa arjavam all these are listed so each of these what are this dana is yatha shakti samvibhagah annadinam you know as possible as one is capable one should share one's anna ityadi that sharing is called as dana what is damah damascha bahya karanaanam upashamah so dama is control over the sense organs which kind of sense organs bahya so the organs of action antakaranasya upashamam shantim vakshyati so what is shanti what is called as shanti shanti is that which is antakaranasya upashamah so sorry bahya karana nam is not uh, any bahya karana so indriya nam indriya nam you can take any of these so club together you can club them together and then all the sensor control over all the sense organs and then antakaranasya upashamah is shanti shama shanti is what shama dama is danti so shanti danti or shama dama both mean the same thing with a different pratyaya so both put together dama and shama are both put together you know outer and inner control of the indriyas inner instrument and the sense organs yajnascha shrautaha agnihotradi so yajna has been mentioned swadhyaya is also mentioned so what is yajna yajna is shrauta karma meaning whatever is prescribed by the shruti such as agnihotra ityadi what is smarta karma the smartaha is smartascha so yajna need not necessarily only shrauta it can be smarta also smarta karma is daiva deva yajna ityadi so deva yajna is all all these are prescribed by the smritis and agnihotra adi karmas are prescribed in the shruti so both of these yajnas are called as yajna here what is swadhyaya swadhyaya is rigveda adi adhyayanam adrashtartham so chanting of the study chanting is basic adhyayana is patha also and if possible with meaning as well as possible that is called as swadhyaya swadhyaya is swashakha adhyaya really one's own shakha swadhyaya adhyate adhyetavya so shruti says that swadhyaya adhyetavya kartavyataya one has to do it as a kartavya karma one has to chant one's own 
swashaka why swashaka because it has to be retained otherwise it is said that if one learns other shaka without chanting one's own shaka not that learning only other shaka learning other shaka without learning one's own veda shaka one gets dosha so rigveda adhyayanam why adrishtartham because we don't know how it works it has to be done shruti says it has to be done why we don't know why we know it will be adrishta adrishta is necessary because all this will pave the path for moksha tapaha tapa what is tapa tapa is vakshamanam it is going to be talked about shariradi shariradi so shariradi tapaha it will be talked about austerity what kind of austerity you know so basically denying something to oneself whatever is prescribed by the shastra as tapa so that is really tapa it will be described later so vakshamanam arjavam is ruju bhava so rujutvam straight forwardness when should one follow this sarvada always so you know there is always a question how long you know when should we do it how long should we do it so sarvada sada sarvada not once in a while it can be done once in a while also but then it will the progress will be slow why because it is punya with papa therefore once in a while is okay for others laukikas sarvada for one who is a mumukshu kinch we'll see the next shloka in the next part narayana paro vyakta dandam avyakta sambhava mandasyantastu me loka saptad dipa ch me dini any questions नमस्ते हरिओम नमस्ते